welcome back travelers it is slider havoc and we are back doing some project ozone 2 kappa mode and today we are kind of picking up where we left off last time i did a little bit of work in the meantime um after doing the induction smelter and the fluid transposer i did a pulverizer a redstone uh furnace and then also the sawmill but i just made once again just the regular ones the basic ones and I was kind of looking into something. So I know that it wants me to make the, the hardened machine frame, the reinforced machine frame, and the resident machine frame, which I'm totally fine with. But I was like looking at it. Now, I, I want, you guys tell me what you think, right? If I want to make these machine frames, to make a resident machine frame, I have to make a um, reinforced machine frame plus have an endearing gear four aluminum or aluminum ingots and this zombie electrode right and to make this one i need for shiny a pulsating crystal and the signalum and to make this one i need our basic with four bronze the ferris gear which i need the press for or vibrant al or um yeah yeah vibrant alloy gear okay that's fine totally totally fine however say i look up a redstone furnace and I go, hmm, what are its uses? And it just so happens its uses are to upgrade to the next level. So instead of having to build the one with the machine frame, all I have to do is do four Invar ingots with an Electrum gear. And then I can take that one, add four pieces of fused quartz with a Signalum gear. And with that one, I can do four silver ingots with an Enderium gear, and then I'm at the resident furnace. That seems a whole lot more simple to me. So that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to test out this process and see if this is actually, actually going to work. So redstone furnace, I want to upgrade to you, right? I think I don't have the, why do you move around so much? Um, bingo, bingo. I need to make an electrum gear and I can actually make that one over here. So let me grab some uh, gold and silver. Because, you know, I'm running kind of low on gold. I'm like 25,000. Um, and then we have some silver. Do I have any made up? I have, th well, I can do this. Um, there we go. Nine, one, two, three, four. And put you in there. No, not in there. In there. All right, cool. So then we can make this. And then I can start looking. At, I think I may have already made signal. I don't remember. Uh, we'll see. Nothing's in here, right? Okay, cool. So silver and gold, you guys both smelled up really quickly, if I remember right. Yeah, 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 like super quick. All right, and then Signillum. This is the one that we were looking at uh, yesterday, and I couldn't remember the darn recipe for it. Uh, Signillum is made with uh, copper. Oh, no, not uses. How are you made? Uh, redstone, copper, and silver. Okay, so it was 1 to 4 and then 10. So we're going to do one, two, three, four of silver, which means I'm going to want, it's a three to one. So I'm going to need 12 copper, which is easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And if I'm doing three, that means I'm going to need like 30 redstone. I think this makes destabilized redstone. I know one of them, I don't remember which one. One of them does weird stuff and it doesn't make like destabilized redstone. It's like just like melted redstone or something like that. This might be the one I don't remember. It's been a while, but I should have electrum gear. No, that's a gold gear. That's a silver. You guys went so fast. It poured one before they mixed. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's. Let's grab you real quick and turn you off. And you guys should still melt up pretty good. Oh, of course, you don't melt fast. Of course not. Hi, yi, yi. Well, it's not horrible, but that's just, that's upsetting. That's what that is. Okay, so anyways, we're making the Electrum gear. And then we're going to start on the Signalum because eventually we want to get to this one. Um, Signalum, I can make the hardened glass or fuse quartz, that's easy. And then finally, silver ingots with an Electrum gear, um, and, or Enderium. And Enderium is made with Resident Ender, that's easy. Shiny, tin, and silver. 
Okay, so let's get some of that out as well. So I'm going to need a little more silver. We'll grab like four silver. I want to make sure we have enough. All right, so four silver for this one, right? And then I'm going to need four shiny or platinum. Do I have any made up? I don't actually have any made up, but I've got plenty to smelt. Well, there's some nether platinum right there. Um, let me just grab you and smelt you up in here real quick. Hey, look at that. I got glass. All right, cool. And then, uh, was it 10? That was what it was, I think. Let's double check on that. Um, redstone furnace. Uses. Nope. This one. And Dirium is made like that. Don't do that. And it was over here. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. I make this like this. Um, yes, 10. So it's going to be 2 10. So I need 8 10. All right. 8 10. Like actual 10. Like there's so many other things here. Uh, that's 10, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, cool. You're good there. And then some ender pearls. Um, yeah, we got plenty. Okay, cool. And I should have the shiny now. So then I can go one, two, three, four, put you in there. All right, cool. So the Electrum should be ready. I can make that gear, right? Electrum now? Yes. So let's go ahead and turn you back on, pump you out, and we'll go ahead and start putting in the next batch. So silver, copper, and redstone. Okay, those two gears are done. So I'm gonna turn you off again, so I make sure you guys mix and you don't go through too quickly. And we're gonna go upgrade this guy. So, once again, I hate that it doesn't stay. Uh, red stone furnace. All right, so, no, nope, wrong one, this. Okay, that. Really, do I, I have Invar, right? That, that was Invar it wanted, right? Yeah, I have Invar. You, you, and Invar. And yeah, if this works, this just makes so much more sense to do it like this and not actually make those, yeah, and not make those machine frames. Now it's hardened. So let me get some fused quartz going too. Um, oh, I already have some. Oh no, that's the dark fuse and the light fuse. I need you, which means I'm gonna need to grab some quartz. All right. Let's make some of you up real quick. <sighs> hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. What? No, stop that. Yeah, I just want regular fused quartz. Good. Are you done with the glowstone? Yes. It's trying to make that shiny stuff. See, it's making that enlightened stuff. That's not what I want. And one more. One more. There you go. Okay, cool. So we're rock and roll with that. And you should be just about, oh, you are done. Liquefied, see, it's liquefied redstone. I knew it. I need to make the magma crucible. And that's, okay. So this is actually where, <laughs> that's kind of perfect. This is where we're at. So here's the thing. I just kind of continued on. So I showed you, I made all those and it just so happens I'm at the magma crucible, but I stopped at the magma crucible because, because I needed to make something that we hadn't made yet. Not that it's anything special, but it is also achievement. So um, we want to make the magma crucible, which requires a leadstone energy cell. Super simple, but it's an achievement. And I hadn't made it yet. So uh, I just thought, you know, that's kind of why I stopped where I stopped when I was doing this. So there's our magma crucible now. And I'm just going to plop you over here on the line. And now... I can throw some redstone in there and make some destabilized. Right, so here we go. And I will go grab a barrel real quick. And uh, hopefully it'll just fill right into the barrel and then I can just pump it right into here and it will make our signalum. So barrel, where's my empty? There's my empties. And we'll just plop you on top. Like so, right? And then we're gonna eject to the top. There we go. Cool. So now we got destabilized redstone. And well, let's go ahead and let that finish. 
Well, how much did I need for the signalum? Um, let's do this. Let us disconnect you. I don't even know what's in there right now. Um, I hope, hope, hope that I didn't just pump something else in there. No, it did not. Okay. And you on top here. And let's pump the destabilized redstone in. Good. There we go. Ha ha. Signillum. Cool. Now I can do this. And get that signillum gear. Good. Just enough to get the gear. Perfect. No, nope. And then you go right back in there. There we go. Got the signalum gear. Cool. So now we can upgrade the uh, redstone furnace up. And then we should be able to get to the enderium. And I think this is a way, way more efficient way um, of getting the resident options. Because now I just need the four shiny. And then, okay, yeah. So now we got to go make, I got to like pump all this stuff out. Um, I've got destabilized redstone. I've got, okay, this is going to be funny. Um, what materials do I have in here? I have signillum. I have, okay. I guess we're just going to grab a bunch of these tanks and go like this. One goes there, one goes there, and wherever you guys end up is where you end up. This is, that's the game we're playing right now. And pump it out. Okay, cool. That looks good. <laughs> and I have two more. I've got copper and redstone. So let's go ahead and put one tank right here and one tank right here, right? And we'll close that and then open that one. Bingo. This is how I empty my smell tree really quickly. I don't know if it's really that productive, but it works for me. So now the ingredients for our enderium. And we'll just put those in there. I don't know how many enders I'm going to need, but that's all I can put in. So this is just one row. Okay, cool. So that's going to cook up. We'll get the enderium. And then I think I need four more shiny for that one. So didn't I just make a whole bunch? Or did I already put it back in here? Probably put it back in here already. All right, so you, you, where did all that pulverized coal come from? Did I grab that out of that chest? I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. Do I have any repeats in here? Um, no, it looks like destabilized, molten, bronze, constant hand, brass, tin, stone, Nickel, signalum, silver, copper, redstone, refined, glowstone, blazing. Do I have managed to clear those tanks out that many times, and I actually haven't duplicated yet. I'm actually impressed by myself on that. I have impressed myself. All right, and ender pearls are almost done, and then I can make the uh, enderium gear. Like right about. Right about now. Molten Enderium. Cool. And I have a cow for this too. I just, you know, why not use the smell tree while we're, while we're here? All right, cool. Enderium gear. Bingo. Got you. Let's just pump you right back in for right now. Cool. And place you right there. Cool. We got the Enderium gear. I've got my shiny ingots. I've got a resident redstone furnace. I don't know why I chose to do the furnace first, actually, to be honest with you, because my hell furnace is pretty darn fast. <coughs> um, shiny. There we go. One, two, three, four. Was that another recipe? What? That was the recipe, wasn't it? <sighs> Red stone furnace. Got you, got you. Oh, it's just silver. That's even cheaper. Okay, cool. So let's grab some more silver. I gotta break a block down, don't I? Yes. All right, cool. E -e break you down. Boom. Bingo, bango. Eeny, meeny, miny, and mo. And now we've got a redstone furnace. Awesome. So now I know the augmentations aren't in here. So let's make some speed ones. I wanna see how fast this guy really gets. Um, AUG, augmentations. So I want this one, which is made. Okay, that's easy. Um, that's easy. That's easy. Okay, cool. So that's a redstone reception. That's a reception. And that's a reception. Cool. Let us, oops, make three of these. One, two, three. 
And I should be able to make all three of these. Um, one. And two. What am I missing? I was like, I know I had Blazing Pyrethium. I wasn't short on that. And Enders were good. And there we go. Now let's see how fast this bad boy is. Comparatively. Bink, bink, bink. All right, let's do a test. What is something we can test? We want to test the same material. Um, let's do some shiny, just because I don't have a lot. And so platinum, we're going to do a stack here and a stack here. Now, I think this is faster, so I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to put you in there. Never mind. That is so much faster. So much faster. There, There's no comparison. Yeah, there's... It's not even a close foot race. Um, as much as I like that Hell Furnace, there's no comparison. That is so quick. And yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you lost. We need to hurry up and get to that Ultimate Furnace now. I mean, I still like it. Don't don't get me wrong. I like my Purple Hell Furnace, but it's it's a non-issue. It's not even it's not even a close fight. All right, so what else are we going to do? Uh, glacial Extruder. This is actually a new one for me. I've never actually made a Glacial Extruder, nor have I ever used it, so I really don't know what it's good for. But I've got that. I've got that. I think I've got everything we need. Uh, I might have been missing the reception coil. Those I don't make in mass, and so that's probably what I was missing. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Glacial Extruder. I, mix it. I wonder if this makes ice. I mean, it sounds like it probably makes ice. Okay, so we pump water in and it uses energy. Ooh, packed ice. Packed ice is something I've been wanting to make. So if we do this and I, ooh, you know what? I've got that reservoir. I have that reservoir that I made. Let's, let's try that out. Reservoir like that. And let me grab my buckets right there and fill them up. And I'm just gonna place it on top. I don't know if it pushes though. I might just grab this. I haven't, I don't use it all that often and I can put the reservoir over here. Okay. So let's try this out. Okay. So water's going in. Oh my goodness. It's just making ice. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. And this one doesn't need to get upgraded or anything like that. But if I remember correctly, four of these give you packed ice. And that's kind of what I wanted to see. There was something I was looking at that I needed packed ice for. I actually don't remember what it was. It was, a, it was just a probably about an hour ago that I was kind of looking around and I knew I wanted packed ice, but what did I want it for? What did I need packed ice for? Actually, you know what? It, I think it was something further down the line. I think it was like an Emmy controller um, that I noticed needed packed ice. This is used on, it was in a recipe. It was definitely in a recipe. Yeah. Cause I was making it in the back. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, you know, I think that's what it was. It was cloud seed. Cloud seed is used to make the concentrated cloud seed and the concentrated cloud seed is used to make something. I think it's in the ME controller because that was uh, one of the things you need. Oh, is it ME controller? Yes, there it is. Concentrated cloud seed for the ME controller. And not that I'm no, I'm, I know I'm nowhere near that right now. It was because I was looking at um, the angel wings. As you can see, it keeps popping up. And you need the dire uh, table, what is that called? Uh, the dire crafting table from uh, Avarita. And to do that, you need the ME controller and also freaking Awaken Cores. So I was kind of planning ahead. I knew we were gonna need packed ice eventually. So cool, we've got that done. And next, Igneous Precipitator. Is that different than the Igneous Extruder? What is an Igneous? Igneous Persip Sip Why can't I spell right now? What was that thing called? Um Oh, it is the Igneous Extruder. The name of it is Igneous Precipitator. Okay, cool. Oh, it's Ignis. That I always mispronounce that. Ignis. Igneous. There it is. And that one is glass, got it. That copper gears, got it. Ooh, a pneumatic servo. I haven't made one of those in a long time. Make one of you. And boop. 
And apparently this is just a crafting episode. Um, I might be low on pistons. That might be what I'm low on. And I have like no cobble left and I'll show you why in just a minute because that will lead up to actually one of the things I've been working on <coughs> off camera that I was going to talk about last episode, but I didn't really get to it because of all the mayhem that ensued with my craziness and making bad decisions. By the way, guys, um, I, I know I didn't say it. I did happen to look up a video afterwards because I, I was really curious if I was like, if I was just lucky or if uh, I was overthinking it and it really was no, I know I got really, really lucky. You don't have to tell me. Um, I saw the damage that that uh, that thing does from the giant chance cubes. I know I got lucky. That thing would have leveled pr pretty close to, it was all the way over on that edge over there. It probably would have literally been right to like the edge of the base, but it would have been enough to take out the entire base. I do know that, so... Um, I, I think my lucky stars for computer crash or server crash. That was, I, I had to go check out the video. I needed to know if that's what was going to happen. And it was, and I think my lucky stars for a bad server. <laughs> um, yeah, now this is going to start getting really tacky, but I just know there's a power line running along here. So actually, you know, the Ignis doesn't even need a power line. I know that I don't have to put you there. I can place you right over here on top of, what is this? The induction smelter, the fluid transposer. I'm trying to think, of, oh yeah. If I ever need, um, you know, like coal or not coal, sorry, gravel or whatever. I could just make it right here real quickly. Cool. And finally, last one, the photogenic isolator. The photogenic, I, no, that was Fido. It was a photo that was Fido, P-H-Y-T. That's interesting. And I know this thing has to do with seeds and stuff like that. I don't know too much about it, but. Oh, and aluminum gear. And that one can only be pressed. Okay, so that one's going to be held off for a moment. Not a big deal. Um, I think that was pretty productive, though. But now I can go make like a signal ingot. Um, I think I can actually induction smelt that now. Uh, signalum. Is it signalum or signalum? I don't know. We make you uh, by smelting that stuff. Or I can do it in an induction smelter or alloy smelter. Okay, so let's make it in the alloy smelter. Redstone, silver, and copper. Exactly how we made it over there. Okay, I can do this. Redstone. Hey, there you go. Silver. And to give you guys an idea why I'm kind of just kind of pounding through these, um, there's a lot of stuff I really want to get going on in, um, you know, like starting heading in a direction. And the one I can't quite figure out yet is what I'm going to need to do. I need more silver. All right, yeah, okay. Oh, that's really slow. Um, I can't quite figure out how to open up Galacticraft because that's really getting to that ultimate furnace. I, I just, I have to get it done. Like it's, it is on my mind constantly. I have to get it done. And I just haven't been able to do so yet. And it's kind of bugging me. And while that is really slow. Oh, it makes four at a time though. So it's not bad. It's slow, but it makes four at a time. Okay, cool. And then what's the next one I can start prepping? Uh, lumium. I think I already have lumium. I think I've already made some. I do. So there's lumium right there. I knew I had some in the uh, smeltery too. I don't know. Well, it can't be a craft. It just has to be a retrieval. So I think we're good there. And enderium. How many ingots do I need? I need 12 enderium ingots. How much enderium do I have in here? Okay. So um, I've got, oh, it looks like I just need more ender pearls. That I can do. And that signal is probably done by now. So we could just kind of fly in through uh, this section, which I kind of like. Because, well, this should actually, oh, no, yep, yeah, there you go. So that should do Signalum, and then it should also do Lumium, like back to back. Right? Yep, there's Lumium. Okay, cool. And let's get an ingot cast out real quick. I don't know if the, if I can make Enderium other ways, but, you know, let's, let's, is there another recipe for Enderium? 
Let's see. Can I like induction smelt a couple things? Uh, no, I can make the blend with pyrithium in the induction smelter. Oh yeah, or ender pearls with enderium base and like that. I kind of actually like the smeltery. I think the smeltery uh, method is just a little bit better. Uh, ender pearls take forever to cook. All right, cool. So we've got that. And then flux infused electrum and then flux crystal. So we're getting our way through this area. Um, let's see. This, this is just a hardcore grinding one of stuff. Um, that's leadstone. How do I make a hardened? Let's go check out a hardened cell. I, I have a feeling some of these are going to tie in with the tesseract as well. So uh, hardened. Oh, there it is. Uh, harden, harden energy cell. So that is lead with invar. We can do that. Except it doesn't seem to want to like do the invar for me. Uh, cell. It, where is it? Didn't I? Oh, that's right. It was part of the other recipe. I used it. Let's make another one. No, not you. Where's the cheap easy one? This one's it, right? No, you. That's what I want. There you go, and then now the hardened. See, you're just so much trouble. So much trouble. Where's the invar? Why do things have to be so difficult sometimes? There we go, hardened cell. And then the hardened cell is used to probably make the next level, yep, which is copper and this. Oh no, I need some red alloy. Um, red alloy is this stuff. So let's just make a big stack of you real quick and throw you in here. That thing is so fat. I love it. I rarely ever get up to the resident levels, but I just, that was really coming down to, I wanted to see if I could, uh, make that more efficiently. And I definitely agree. I think that the redstone, um, or like get into the resident furnace the way I did it versus making the machine frames. It just makes so much more sense. Uh, we are making the cell. We are making this guy. No, we just made the harden. So we're making this one. No, you are used to make. Why do you keep bouncing my screen around? You're used to make. Hold on. Hardened energy cell frame. Oh, frame. Oh, does this one have to get filled? Do I still have redstone over here? Magma crucible? I do. Um, where's my fluid transposer? There we go. Let me swap these two out. Hey, put that block back. And we'll swap you out because magma crucible and fluid transposer, just they're a, a match made in heaven. And they belong next to each other. So you're going to be inputting from this side. No inputting from this side there we go and let's pop you in there no nope. wait what what is going on here you are used to make this oh that's that's what i needed okay so you are used to make this this i need there's that and then lots of clicky clicky and then there we go there we go now we have the hardened awesome and then you're used to make hey stop that you are used to make this one no that's the thruster <laughs> um hardened energy okay so that's a totally new thing once we get to this one okay so we got to make the frame we got to make that Ooh, things get a little bit difficult. I've got the lumium. What are these energized capsules? In an induction smelter, it's an energized capsule with redstone blocks. Interesting. Does that say 40 of those into there? Am I reading that correctly? How do I make these? Let's, let us try this out. That's lead. That's conductive iron. Lead is so much cheaper. All right, let's do it like this. What am I missing? Fused quartz? Oh, lead. Apparently, I don't have any lead. Okay. I'd love to get through these right now. Um, let's just break these down. 
And that should give me enough to at least make a couple of these capsules. Man, come on. There we go. So I need like at least four, right? I think it was at least four. So, and I only gave you enough lead to make three. No. Oh, lumium might be, I don't know. Oh, fused quartz. That's the short. The fused quartz is in here. Thank you. So we'll place you right there. Fill that out. And there we go. One, two, three, four. Is it really 40 blocks of redstone for one of these? I mean, I ain't worried about it, but that's kind of crazy. Um, induction smelter, this one. Let's see if that's accurate. If there's 24 left, I'm going to be highly impressed by these things. Holy cow. That is crazy. Well, we got to do it. It's got to be done. All right, let's get a little more redstone, apparently. What did that just say? Energized caps. Oh, it's in my hand. That's why. And bingo. That is so crazy. But we got them. So cool. Cool for us. Um, <laughs> that's pretty intense right there. So we are making this guy, which is that lumium and the hardened cell. Got you. Uh, or is it just the hardened cell frame? Man. Really? Really? I gotta make. Really? <sighs> okay. There's you. Then you. Come on. Come on. There you go. And then. Where's the frame? There it is. And then you. No. What am I missing? Got the lumium. Or glosonic steel. I got both of those. So you should be good. Let's just kind of put all this stuff away. Um, whole bunch of stuff I don't need on me. All right. Do it. Oh, ho, there we go. And then the frame gets filled with redstone. So let me grab some more redstone to put in the magma crucible. And yes, I will eventually level all these up. Um, but for the time being, just kind of knocking these out right now. Like I, said, I, I know if I don't know if it feels like I'm flying through this. I, I totally get that it feels like I'm flying through this, but it's because a lot of these are just the machines we use all the time, and I don't want to like do everything off camera. So I would kind of designate today as like the day to do it all on camera, so we can really start making strides and you know moving on. Like I've already started my plans for my village, so I got some trees and you know a little ambiance going on over there. And this will eventually all just become a beautiful little village. That's the goal. I don't like this cobblestone world that we're living in. And so, yeah, we will. Oh, it's done. Ching, ching. All right. So, yeah. So, today it's just kind of a fly through episode. A resident cell. Now, this one, whoo. I have a feeling this one's going to be expensive. Resonant cell. So, we need the frame, which is. The full frame. Oh, cool. Which is what I have here, right? I have a full frame. Yes, not a cell. Cool. So it's you. No, 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 no. You with some enderium, which I'm making right now, and four more of those. Okay. So let's make four more of those capsules. You, you. Can I make four more? Uh, what is my limiting? I think it's the lead is my limiting. Um... It is, but that's okay. We can use the redstone fast furnace over here to get some more lead. There we go. And we'll put you back in there. And now frame. Oh, capsules. We'll just capsules. Bingo. Bango. Oh, I need more lumium ingots. Ha. It never stops. It never stops. Lumium is Lumium blend. Okay, that's it. It is tin, silver, and glowstone. I think we've got that. We can do that. Silver. Oh, jeez. Let's just cook you up in here while I'm gonna. Silver, tin. And this one's the hard one to find because there's a lot of stuff that has the word tin in it. Uh, 27 ingots. There we go. And glowstone, which I think I probably have some over there, but. Just make sure we have enough. And there we go. 
And yeah, you're still cooking up real slowly, aren't you? You're not even cooking anymore. What's, what's going on here? Why aren't you? Oh, not enough redstone. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll make some more lumium up. And then we should have that rocking and rolling. Uh, okay. Let me just get all this stuff put away. Put you in there. Oh, Enderium. Are you done, Enderium? Are you done? Um, 12 ingots of Enderium. That is exactly what we're looking for. So let me grab you. Turn you back on. The Ender Pearls won't even go in, so we're good there. So you guys finish up. And... How many do I have? There's eight. How fast are you? This one's kind of slow too. All right, let's grab those eight. I can at least make the last two capsules. There we go. Come on, auto populate, come on. There we go. All right, and then redstone again. This is so grindy, but it's okay. It's okay. We're almost there. Um, which one was I doing? Oh, induction smelter. There we go. So you and you. That seems kind of a weird. I they. It's almost like it's empty. You think you would be filling it with like the fluid transposer? I think that just makes more sense to me. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I think that makes more sense <coughs> to fill it with the uh, the fluid transposer. But hey, you know. They've done an awesome job with this pack and they've done an awesome job being creative with like the, the processes behind it. So I ain't arguing with them. Not going to do it. All right. And there we go. Cool. So we've got those four. So we were making the resident energy frame. Um, this one, which needs that already. Have, oh, no, no. That's all I need. Oh, and then I need the enderium that's what it was okay cool yeah because we got that we got those just need that enderium and if i have 12 of them now 12 i have 12 that's mission accomplished for that and then i come over here and put those four in here like that do it sometimes it pulls from my inventory sometimes it doesn't i don't think i honestly don't think there's a rhyme or reason to the way it works um so that should be good Oh no, that's Enderium, and now I'm trying to make the energy frame full, which is going to be more redstone. Over here, you go in there. Oh, perfect. Boop. Got you. Bingo. Got it. Wow, just went through all that. And then Tesseract's next. And I'm going to take a look at the Tesseract, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that today. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling the Tesseract's not going to happen. Um, no, I got that. I have that. Um, I can make those real quick. Actually, let's finish up with the Tesseract. I mean, we did the, the, what's it called the other day? The, um, dimensional transceiver might as well get the thermal one done too. Right. I think that's reasonable. So let's make up. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Three. What's my limiting? Do I fuse quartz? Right. I have. It's freaking fused quartz. <sighs> okay. Let's get that made up. Um, bink, bink, bink. There we go. Let's get that fused quartz. I can get one more of these capsules. Let me start these capsules up. Let me get some more redstone. Wow, this is redstone central. Finally getting used for all that redstone I've been making this whole time and never had a use for it. There we go. And then get that fused quartz. And come over here and make another one of those capsules. Like so. There it is. Back to hue. Can put you in there. More redstone. Oh, it's kind of curious. Oh, I didn't have enough redstone to be begin with. Okay. We can actually make a test rack. Now, I've only got one, so it's not really useful. But it's a start. It is a start. And I think, like I said, making the dimensional transceiver the other episode, following shortly after doing uh, these, I am I think that's pretty successful. Um, kind of, it's it's keeping the pace, I would say. 
um, since we've kind of do an Ender IO at the same time as the way it looks like it was designed to do. So I'm totally cool with this. I'm I'm really really happy. And as soon as we're done with the test rack, we're gonna go open some chance cubes. Not in my base ever again. Ever 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 again. Never gonna happen. Not gonna do it. And uh, worst mistake. And I said it. I said it so many times. Worst idea ever. But did that stop me? Of course not. It wasn't going to slow me down. I was still going to be stupid. Um, okay, cool. So, test rack frame. And I know I'm going to need some ender pearls. All right, so let's grab some ender pearls and throw those in the magma crucible. All right, and let me go grab that redstone tank to pull that out of. Which one was redstone? Do you save like redstone? And go pull that out of the um, fluid transposer so we can do this thank you and they'll put you in there and as soon as you're ready you will fill up and then i'm probably going to need more endurium i have a feeling um let's look up the final part of the recipe for the tesseract because if i can already make tesseracts that's i feel like very accomplished if i can finally make tesseracts silver and bronze simple I thought it was going to be Endurium. Got it. Oh, we've got a Tesseract. Oh, we have a Tesseract. Boop. And we've got our Tesseract. We're just going to set this guy right here as a reminder that we need another one. We need another one just, just so I feel like useful. This was a very productive day and pretty fast. Um, a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but all in all, that was a productive day. The only thing left I have is that photo, f f f whatever it was called. Um, the one I can't make. There was a reason I couldn't make it. Um, P-H-Y, this guy. What was it called? The phytogenic. And that's because I can't make the Lumium gears. So that might be something because there's other gears, like the Ferris gears I needed to make. And I need the, uh, the metal press from uh, Immersive Engineering. So that could be something I look into in the next episode. But for today, I think we're going to wrap up just the crafting because, well, that's pretty much all we did today. There was no... I like to say this is forward momentum, but this isn't really forward momentum in my eyes. This is kind of parallel. Like, we're getting a whole bunch of stuff we need to do to move forward. And so, until one of these other ones opens up... Um, why are you bouncing back up? Why are you bouncing back up? Come here. Yeah, so we got Mu, Nu, Lambda, Kappa, and Iota, and Eta. I don't know what I'm going to need to start working on. Probably Pneumaticraft. That's my guess. Probably something in the Pneumaticraft area. Or maybe over here in the, um, what is it? Not uh, the Metal, um, it's not Magneticraft. What is that one? Um, the Metallurgy or whatever it's called. Yeah. So, <laughs> enough about that. Let's get our Icosahedrons and go crazy with them. Um, how many are we going to take today? We're going to take, oh, how many should we take? Let's take, oh, we'll just take our standard 10. That's what we're going to take. We're going to take our standard 10. And then also, I don't think I showed you guys this. I uh, basically made portals to, or like the, the dislocators to each individual location. So we've got the end. Uh, this is inside the nether. That's aether. This is the roof where my capacitor farm is. Um, this is to my actual farm. This is over to the mob farm. And then this is over to Erebus. And before we head, I do want to kind of show you something I've been working on <clears throat> because this is probably going to be the next episode, depending on how well this thing operates while wow, you are loud and wow, do the frames just drop. All right. So I was trying to figure out a way to create some mass power, right? So I created another one of these high temperature furnaces, right? And basically it's just doing the push and pull on both sides and I'm getting more than enough energy. But I kind of want to be able to just leave it for a while so I don't have to worry about energy. So I did make uh, eight total of the high temperature furnaces for two reasons. Because first of all, if we go back up to gamma, you can see that making this transfer hypo node, our energy node is here. But that guy requires bedrockium. And so I've got all the other stuff I need, but I don't have the bedrockium. So yes, I started my cobble farm. And it's... It's okay. I'm, I, I was working with just four for a while, 
So I did have like 256 of these world interaction upgrades. It takes a while because I have to manually make each individual iron pick and then place it in. So it took a minute. So this time I just kind of cranked out some more speed upgrades. But you can see I'm getting quite a bit of uh, cobble now. I'm up to four septuplets, right? So five more of those and we will have our octuplet so I can make my bedrock ingot. We'll be able to make the hyper node. I'll be able to make the 64 times generator and not have to worry about power for quite a long time. So that's kind of where I'm at there. Just wanted to give you a little bit of update. Also, I'm gonna be looking into other um, seeds and essences that we can make that's gonna be productive. But um, for right now, that's just, that's kind of where we're at. So we're gonna do our icosahedrons in the end here. And I'm gonna do it quite a ways, so I don't wanna break that portal. I mean, I know I've got the bedrocking portal that'll always take me back, but yeah. Oh, and yeah, I've, I don't think I showed you when we were here last time. I have been doing quite a bit of uh, draconic uh, this mining. There's some comets. Um, I know they're relatively close to the portal over here. You can see there's a whole bunch. Apparently when they, oh, there's my dome. When they revamped this um, draconic evolution or whatever, they made the comets a lot more uh, pronounced. Because I remember doing this in Sky Factory and it took me forever to find these comets. And now there's like like three or four just right here in this immediate area. So I got a whole bunch of the draconic uh, dust. So good stuff there. I hope bad things happen to the Enderman while we're doing this. Is that bad to say? Hey, what? I just placed two somehow. Um, that was interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Like... Like, not even, like, like nothing, nothing, like, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No text, no dropped items. My, I didn't pick up anything. Absolutely nothing. Well, this sucks. A fluid vac. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's not charged, I'm sure. It, uh, pumps fluids into and out of compatible containers. 80,000 RF, 200 RF for use. Press none to change mode. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Maybe we'll get used out of that. It's kind of like a really big bucket. Or maybe it's just, maybe it holds a bucket's worth. I don't know. But let's go. So far, no bad. I like when no bad happens. I, I'm happy when no bad happens. Let's go and see. Come on, good luck. Oh, no, that's just going to blow up. Yeah, we've done that one many times before. I would love something new, but... Oh! That was not what I had intended. Throwing an ender pearl at it and smacking into it. And kaboom! Oh, are you the real one or are you the fake one? Are you the real one or the fake one? I think this is the real one. I've never seen the life bar go up before, so... It... He... I could have used some more nether stars. I was actually kind of hoping I could have used some more nethers. What was the last thing it said? Oh. Do you feel lucky, punk? Do you? Alright. Oh. And that's the creeper one. Can I get my vision back, please? Thank you. Oh, there's supercharged creepers. Could you imagine a supercharged John Cena creeper? I wonder how potentially destructive that could be. That, that could be pretty intense. A supercharged John Cena creeper. I don't even know if that's a possibility, but just the idea of it's kind of funny to me. All right, let's get some of this XP up. All right. Oh, shut up, Enderman. Ooh, is, is that just blaze powder? Was that it? Why not? Fire aspect two. Um, okay, sure. Do I just put that on something? I don't know. We'll look into that. Item number 51. Why not? Sure. And go. Oh, not that stupid freaking ghast again. Oh, he's over here. Where are you? Where are you? Did you shot at me? Where are you? Oh, you're over here. I, I, there you are. Come on. Keep shooting. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Can I? Oh, ghast here. Ghast here. No, way too far. Way too far. Sorry, I need to really start getting the seeds for some of the mobs so I can start getting some of those things, but 
I, I, I'm like, I want to be like freaking 10, 20 days down the road with the stuff I want to do. And it's like, but I'm not there yet. Did you just give me another one? Is like that out? Here's your prize. Another chance. Like, really? Come on. Let's do two. Let's do three at once. Let's, let's finish up strong. What's that? More chance cubes. I, what was that? A scuba tank? Got some creeper heads. That's cool. A scuba tank. Interesting. All right. Well, let's let's place these other chance cubes because they're part of the series, I say. And before that one cracks, let's open this one. Almost simultaneously. Oh, experience. Just a bunch of experience. Cool. Just harmful potions. Haha, ha, Enderman. Take that. Why did it just place obsidian above my head? Oh, man. That sound of the Enderman just bugs me. Okay, this one didn't blow. Can I? <clears throat> it didn't blow up this time. Can I, like, mine you? Oh, no. <laughs> that was so stupid. Like, I knew it, too. I was like, I hit them and they blow. Oh, my God. Sometimes to say I do stupid things is such an understatement. Like, that, that, that would be a compliment to say I do stupid things. Oh, my goodness. Hmm, what does the thing that normally blow up do when I hit it? Well, it blows up. That's what it's going to do. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I, I know it was just a lot of like crafting and putting stuff together, but it was stuff that we definitely needed. We definitely needed to start getting some of our thermal expansion stuff together. And, you know, and now we've, we've got it all put together. But we've got our Tesseract now, so we're definitely headed in a much more advanced direction, which I like the, the thought of. And then we got some weird stuff like, you know, why not? That's all I can call it. Why not? Because that's all it says on it. But uh, yeah, I, I hope I hope you guys are having as much fun as I do. I mean, honestly, that that comes to, like from my heart. Like I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am because I am having an absolute blast right now. Uh, this is just so much fun to me. So we let, oh hoo, 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 almost forgot. Look at all these freaking crates we got to open. Uh, um, loot chest done. Loot chest. Hopefully, with this many loot chests. The odds have to increase to get a good one, right? Like, they can't just keep being lousy ones like iron paxels and stuff. we got to start getting some good stuff. And with this many loot chests, the odds have to increase, right? I guess technically, no. The odds are always the same every time you open one. But I, I like to think they increase. Or maybe they increase to get bad ones since I'm already getting so many bad ones. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I... I feel like I'm doing a very consistent job of kind of following in line with all the, the, what's it called? Um, like the processes, the order we're supposed to be going in. But I feel like, I mean, the fact that I can't do Galacticraft stuff yet, I, I guess I could do Galacticraft stuff. Um, but you know, it hasn't opened up yet. It makes me feel like even though I'm doing them in order, it's still kind of out of order because I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to start dipping my feet into this one because we've knocked out a good chunk of uh, Delta here other than like, you know, fluid ducts and tanks and stuff like that, which we could do really easily. And we've knocked out some of this. I have been looking into the pseudo inversion and that one's going to take me a minute to get everything together, but I do want to do that one kind of soon. So we'll, we'll look into that one. But uh, let's put all you guys away. And let's hope for some cool stuff in our chest today. Another star. Okay, I'll take it. That right there increased. Uh, I actually like the typeset. Automatic hammer, we can use that. A vacuum chest. I don't actually know this one, but that seems like useful. Uh, dark matter leggings. I know we got the red ones. Let's put some of this away before our inventory starts filling up. Okay, I said... It was time to start getting some better stuff, and we're getting it. A flamethrower? 
Jeweled apples. Uh, whetstone rolled up newsflaper. I'll take it. Some more red matter. Another portal gun. Artifact. Yeah. Yeah. We'll turn that into mana essence. Okay. Today was a big turnaround in the world of opening loot chests. No. And now I just turned right back around into walruses, dirt chests, lamps. I like the electrotine ones. I still don't know what the viaducts are for. Growth amulet, viaducts. Okay, well, the first couple were good, and then I got too cocky. It happens that way sometimes. But anyways, travelers, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Um, if there's any comments about things that you think I should be hitting or you want to see coming up in like one of the next couple episodes, please put it down in the comments because, you know, a little bit of direction is always helpful, especially for those of you guys who have really, really knowledgeable on this stuff. Now, if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. It'll send you a notification letting you know when I post videos and um, basically they're coming out like daily. Yeah. See, I changed it up there a little bit. I didn't say the exact same thing. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.